you buy Yeah, so I, uh, I dropped down into the next coulee thinking that uh, maybe they had just stopped there but I think they kept going so Whew. sucks to be me <laughs> you know so it's the next morning now uh, we did a little bit of scouting and we located a 170 class uh, mule deer uh, he looks mature to me he's pretty good size uh, typical four um, we waited hoping that he was going to hit the coulee and then we'd watch him bed but he actually turned around as the other bucks took off he uh, turned around and i do believe he's bedded in the field there's nothing behind him it's a little bit of a rise so i lost sight of him but there's nothing behind him but uh, a lake and field so uh we're going to cut the distance in the truck and then uh It'll be ninja all the way in there and hopefully I can put my killing stick through a nice mule deer. So wish me luck and hang in there and watch the action. <laughs> yards and out of the blue a helicopter flies right over us and the little one stands up and he was bedded straight towards us I was mere 20 yards to get to the flat ground here by this pivot where there's no barley we could have sat I mean I was 15 seconds away of being in the spot where, where I needed to be holy f Hey now, all right, we went for a big walk and I'm sure you're seeing another face in the truck. This is another John Morris, the Olympian, the gold medalist, the avid hunter. And uh, yeah, we just did a big stalk and just blew out a bunch of does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try our hardest. Can't really see much. There's John. Uh, Chris is trying. I'm trying and uh, we're gonna go to a spot that we were in this morning and there was a number of bucks so we're gonna see what we can find. 
What do you know? Well, there's sure nice territory down there, but not a lot of animals. We'll have to keep on tracking here, pal. Not giving up yet. So we're uh, coming to a conclusion on our last morning here in Southern Alberta. Um, first of all, I'd really like to thank Roy Grossfield for the accommodations and just the love. Um, I don't think I've ever been treated as good as I have coming down here. Fantastic people um, just went above and beyond and I really, really appreciate that. I don't get that very often. And Johnny, we couldn't get her done, blast, but yeah. you know what? I think we're gonna hook up later in the season and come down and try it again. Uh, we've seen some bucks. Well, I've seen some bucks. Poor John <laughs> didn't get to see any bucks this trip, but it was a real quick hunt. And sometimes, yeah. you know, you really gotta get down here and scout it out for, four or five days before you're lucky but we will be back this isn't the end of the episode and uh, we will see all of you here right around the corner so stay tuned thanks for watching the boneyard this segment is brought to you by cam clark ford located on the west side of gasoline alley red deer alberta hey i'm going in on a buck uh battery's really low so uh he's the widest buck I've ever seen in my life, so I'm hoping I can get him. I got my Southern Alberta mule deer this afternoon uh, with my good friend Chris Eccles. Thanks man, I just can't thank you enough. Um, this was a wonderful hunt. It's been a wonderful couple uh, days. Uh, you know, we've seen some really awesome bucks and we had this one other spot and I just, I've been begging Chris to take me there. And uh, I found this old boy, he was with four other bucks and in a spot where there was no trees, there was no cover, and we got in there, the camera died on us, and I apologize, you know, it just happens to me more times than not. But I put a really good long shot on this guy, man, and uh, this is my best buck ever. And I've just been having a real banner year, and Alberta is the best. And I just really want to thank you know, all my sponsors and uh, Chris Eccles and Jada, uh, thank you so much for the hospitality and having me come down and treating me like I was part of your family. It uh, means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is my fourth animal this year. I'm uh, on a roll and uh, I hope I can keep it up. But this is by far one of the best hunts I've ever been on, man. This has just uh, really made me feel like I'm a hunter and uh, I can kill big bucks. So anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Sorry again. Uh, send us an email, send us some uh, Facebook love. Uh, peace and love, peace and love. If you're ever wanting to ask Jason or Calvin a question, check out their Facebook or Twitter page at Adding Bones.